Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial with me. I'm super excited to show you this look today. So last night I had a date with my husband, we had a movie day, and I did my makeup like this, but I had dark lips instead of pink. Um, and he really enjoyed my makeup, so I thought I'd do a tutorial on it and show you guys my glam date kind of makeup look. You can take this look from day to night. I'm going to be wearing this today, so I just thought that I'll change my lips and do a pink lip. Um, you can definitely do any looks, so um, any lips, so you can do a pink, and then as it gets to night, you can change your lipstick to a darker lipstick, and wear like a dark red, dark purple, or even you could wear purple or red um, lipstick, and just change up your accessories and your outfit, and you're ready to go. So this is a great versatile look, and it for me, I feel like it goes really, really, really nicely on like dark skin women to lighter skin girls and I feel like it's beautiful for everyone. So if you want to see how I do this look, please keep on watching. Mwah! Let's get started. So first off, you want to prime your eyelids with your favorite eye primer or anything that you have. And secondly, you want to grab some tape and gently put that on like so, and making sure that it's the same on both sides. Now grabbing my BYS palette, I'm, it's in, called Neutral Charm, I'll show you some swatches. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to use those two colours and pat that on my lid like so. Pat that on. All over the lid. And then you want to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. I'm going to be tilting my head from side to side like so. It's just so I don't get any glitter on my um, under my eye area. There we go. Now I'm going to use this color right here from Revlon, Revlon Colorstay Quad. And I'm going to use that as a transition color. Pack that on like so and then blend out softly above the crease area. So I'm just showing you slowly how I do it. And then I'm just going to speed it up a bit. Now do the same thing on the other side of your eye as well, making sure that you've blended them both the same on each eye. Now grabbing the darkest colour on that little quad, I'm going to pop that on like so, using tape as a guide and just like pushing that colour upwards above the crease area and then I'm going to turn my brush sideways a bit and then I'm going to kind of softly, subtly cut that crease area. And then do the same thing on the other side. And now I'm going to open my eyes a bit and see where my crease is. Then bring that color above the crease area just to kind of exaggerate, exaggerate my crease area. Now if you've lost any color, just pat some more of the color that you have lost and just pat that back onto your eyelid and blend as you go. Grabbing this LA Colors um, palette, I'm going to grab the white from that. And I'm going to put that on my brow bow underneath my eyebrows to sculpt my brows out of it. And make sure that you do the same on both eyes, make sure that it looks the same. And now I'm going to grab the black on that quad, from that palette, sorry, and I'm going to apply that like so and kind of softly cut my crease a bit. And this is going to add more depth to my eye and do the same on both eyes. I'm just cutting that crease on both sides, make sure it's the same, there we go. Now let's go with some eyeliner, I'm using Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and I'm going to do it using the tape as a guide so I get nice sharp lines. I'm going to line it like so, bringing it to the like halfway point of my eyelid and then softly gently just peel off that tape like so. And now I'm going to inner line the inner corners of my eyes using a liquid um, eyeliner pen. This one is a thin Lizzie one. Now grab your collection cosmetics concealer and fair and just dab it on like so. And I'm going to use my damp sponge, like the edge of it, and I'm just going to dab, 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 and blend, blend, blend. So I get super sharp lines and that's going to brighten up the under eye area. Ooh, there we go. So now I just grab a wee bit more, 
coverage just to brighten up the face and other areas of your face that you feel like needs coverage or like in my case that needs to be brightened up and pop that on and blend that out with your little damp sponge or you can even use a beauty blender if you prefer so but I like using these And whatever leftover product you have on your sponge, I'm going to pop that down the middle of my nose and the top of my forehead. Those are areas that I feel like are naturally highlighted. Do your thing, Liz. Blend that out. Now I'm going to contour my face using Thin Lizzy in the shade Mussy. I use that sort of somewhat like a bronzer. Going to contour the hollows of my the sides of my face, making a fishy face of course. And also the temples and around the top of my forehead. And don't forget the sides of your of your nose. And you can even do your neck and underneath your chin as well. The, parts that are naturally contoured, of course. I like to do that little part right there. Now that's just powdery under the eyes. Now hit your cheeks with some blush. This is Avon Golden Glow um, Blush. And I love these lipsticks. This is Jordana Duradium, I think it is. Great value for money. Pop that on and I'm just going to sculpt down my lips on the on my bottom lip using concealer and then a little sponge again. And there we go. Go ahead and hit your lashes and curl them. Hit them with some mascara, any of your sort. Your favorite of course, doesn't really matter. What makes you happy? Hmm, now I'm just going to think and look at myself and see what else I need. And I think I'll pop on some eyelashes. Of course, these are my go-to ones. And there we go, that's pretty much done. So guys, this is a finished makeup look. You can finish with um, lashes if you like to. I really recommend some that are winged out on the, on the ends there, just because they really go really nice with like a winged out look. And um, you can definitely finish off with your favorite lipstick. It doesn't have to be pink, it can be any other color. Um, just because I feel like um, any other color goes really nicely with this type of makeup look here. And um, yeah, so you can also wear the makeup look as it is, as I am wearing today. And then you can change it to a night look by changing the lipstick color and your accessories. And yeah, that is it. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks so much. And if you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bye.